Vernon Cave's Five O'Clock Show is going to be live with Paloma Faith in the house after four dances to a new deal. Twenty-two boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. Important bit. Hello, pilgrims. Welcome to the <laughs> welcome to the Dream Factory. Very interesting times at the moment. You know, if you think about it, we get used to the fact that if we have a number of games where people are brave and win big money, then uh, that seems to spread, and the next few players are brave. And then if we have some real awful games where they crash, people get very timid. But we've been going up and down like a yo-yo: big money, small money, big, small, and it's produced a, an interesting. Uh, feature, a phenomenon in some respects, because on Sunday we had Rob here and he left too soon. Right at the end he went with £1,300, he could have had three grand. And then yesterday with Dave, exactly the same thing. He left too soon. He had 400 but he could have had a 1000 Both Rob and Dave got their timing wrong and left too soon. We're suffering from premature evacuation. <laughs> I hope it doesn't happen to this person. Yep, you can be brave, you can be determined, but in this game, timing is everything. Remember that. Emma. Yeah! <laughs> oh, here she comes. Emma. All right. Yeah, you're in. in. You're in. Hello. Hello. Welcome to your game. Oh, nice Thanks. tablecloth. Good. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Emma White, Bishop Stortford, Hertfordshire. Ugly. ugly. Yeah, yes. you love the fact that you come from ugly. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, tell us all the ugly jokes then. I haven't got any. But there is an ugly women's institute, there is. isn't there? It used to be ugly women's institute, but now it's women's institute of ugly. Oh, really? Did they get a bit yes. ugly about it? Obviously. <laughs> so what, what else you got in ugly? There must be other sort a of... A pub. A pub? The ugly pub? Was it the ugly arms? No, checkers. Checkers? Yeah. Oh, that's boring. Mm. I know what you should call it. I know what you should call it. The armpit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My armpits are really sweating. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's>... oh. <laughs> It's <laughs> good, isn't it? Hello, Matt. How's it going? All right. All right, then. Not too bad. How are your armpits? <laughs> God, it's getting bad now, though. Oh, no, all right, earlier. <laughs> She's <laughs> weird, isn't she? Now, the bit I'm really interested in your file. Yeah. In fact, I'm interested in the whole thing. It says you're a gambler and that uh, the family play poker. Well, occasionally, after we've had a few drinks, mm -hmm. we will play poker. But not with money, because my mum doesn't like money. playing with money. <laughs> So what do you play with? Peanuts. Or Peanuts. nuts or something. Peanuts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got cashew can win. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, don't laugh. I was better with armpits, wasn't I? <laughs> Let's have a look at your pictures here. Oh dear. <laughs> why, why did I think you'd be a poser with a camera? Look at that. What's going on there? That's um, my brother and sisters. Right. That's my twin sister, Vicky. Yeah. Um, that's my sister Lisa, loved yeah. pieces, and that's my brother Stephen. Lovely. Now let's just talk about Lisa. Yeah. Because she's got cerebral palsy. She has, yeah. And one of your dreams yes. is to win enough money that you could yeah. take her on a really good trip. Mm, yeah, love to. Disneyland Paris. She can't fly, so not long. I'd love Florida, but um, I don't think it's. It's a long way on a boat, to... isn't it? It is a long way on a boat. But get yeah. two hundred and fifty thousand, you could oh, go I on could, a cruise yeah. ship. 
Yeah, do it, do it in style with Lisa. Yeah. I like that ambition. Should we get on with the game? Yeah. Jolly good. Box number five. Did you choose it at random before the game began? I did. You notice that? I phrased that differently, just for you. Okay. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who sealed that box and all 21 other boxes. See, again, I'm phrasing it yeah, differently yeah, for you. Yeah, it's clever. I want... <laughs> I want this to be a distinctive game, okay. Emma. With your boyfriend, Matt, I hope you go away. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you. Sorry, do you know what? I do get really bored really easily. <laughs> with it. <laughs> right. Okay, we've got to keep it entertaining for me because I will just leave if I get too bored. Oh, this okay. is fantastic. Come on, pilgrims, you've got to make it interesting. You know, she gets bored. Okay. So, I'm going to try first number. I'm great, please. I hope this isn't an ugly start to your game, mate. I'm going to miss you, yeah? 35,000. That's alright. Okay. Do you like the way my dress wishes? I think it is. I think it's awful. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot imagine why you'd want to. Number wear. four, please. <laughs> Number four, please. That's the look, Emma. I know we're having a bit of a verbal joust, but I am on your side. This is not the way to play the game. Come on. Oh, oh, get a grip. <laughs> right, three blues now. Sixteen, please. Good luck, Eva. Miss you. Enjoying, I am enjoying myself. I have to clap as well, do I? Yes, you do. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> OK, number 20. Was Stay it down. in a sale? No. <laughs> so this cost me a lot of money. How much? £40. £40? Pounds? <laughs> yeah. £40 pounds for a sort of curtain poncho thing? <laughs> You've got to come out shopping with me. I could have got... I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Get on with it. 20, please. T. T. Good luck. Yes. You, you couldn't possibly live somewhere more ironic. Beautiful lady from... Yep, yeah, from the village of Ugly. Is there a lot of ironic place living that goes on? In Essex. Everyone in Braintree, for a start. <laughs> <laughs> Right, OK. <laughs> Don't worry about that. He doesn't want to bore you. Uh, it wasn't a great start, so your opening offer is £5,000. There we go. It's all right, Max says. It's all right. It's all right? Yeah. You expecting? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope not. No. What was all that about, then? It's just... I have to fiddle. 
here. She has a really short attention span. Really yeah, short do. attention span. Yeah. Okay, number 12, please, Paul. Emma, question. Question? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'll go back, it's all right. I'll tell you what, would there be any chance of a transfer happening? <laughs> I think I'd rather play with you here. Right, go, shoot. Five thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is a bit of a Number 12, please. Paul. All right, Paul. You're delightful. <laughs> Yeah, you're looking at my shoes. I cleaned them. They don't look very shiny and nice. I mean, for a big for the rough look. For a big show. Have you got some? Yeah, I've got some in it. Get the polish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just on the ends. <laughs> That's Vic's. Yeah, Vic will do it. <laughs> Win enough money to buy new shoes, okay. otherwise, you owe me. These cost me 200 quid. Well, at least your feet won't run now. <laughs> Anybody okay. want a bit on their chest? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I really want to smell them. You want to smell them? Yeah. We'll take them off. No, no, no I've got my lucky socks on. <laughs> you got your lucky socks on? <laughs> Oh, come on, let's see the lucky socks. No, we'll see the lucky socks after okay, the break. Okay. After the break, we'll see the lucky socks. Let's see if they are. They're not very lucky at the moment. I might have to take them off. Yeah, you might have to whip them off. Number nine, please. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> All right, Noel. Are you enjoying the experience of day or no day? <laughs> <laughs> open, the, open the box, then, Dave. Oh, that's you, have lovely. I was instructed that you did not want to do the throw to the break, uh, but that you will welcome people back. Yes. Is that true? OK, yeah. so do please come back to Emma's game, where yes. we're going to find out about her lucky socks, and she is going to smell her own feet. She will welcome you back. Please come back. It's different. Welcome back. Yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm a team leader for um, a care provider. How on earth did you get such a responsible job? I know. Job? I know. Well, oh, I don't know if I'll have it when I get back. <laughs> Better get you a load of money, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK, so... Mm. OK, we're one box away from the socks. Do you want to go with Tigger? Who? Tigger over there. Linda. She bounced into our lives yesterday. <laughs> Came in, she was so excited, she was like that, like that, and it went on for about another minute. <laughs> OK, number ten, please. Fellow Essex people. Have you been to Ugly? No, I haven't. Nah. No. If it's a blue, so. I'll get my socks out. If it's not, then I'm not. Good luck, Emma. Well, we're not seeing your socks, then. <laughs> All right, 20,000's out. We're going to have a phone call and we are denied the chance oh, to see your socks. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Three of your Power Five remain, all of his. You're not playing this very well. Hello? Oh. What have I got against her? I haven't taken a contrary position to her. Bang. Banker is saying he's feeling as if he's more on your side than I am. Aww. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> he 
he says that the difference between uh, him and me is that he can still connect with young people, and I, I can't. And he can recognise you're part of the disaffected youth of this country. It's uh, television and video that have um, desensitised, right, desensitised you. Yeah, that's why they all say, yeah, all the time, and why they're all bored all the time. Yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with it, the banker says. Nothing wrong at all. No. no. She's getting bored. All right. Not a very good round, but for some reason, he's on your side, and it's eight grand. <laughs> Jolly good, because she's gone up... What do you think, Matt? Um, still we've got the three big ones, haven't we? So, down there. I need to find that penny there, I think, to be honest. There's more blues you can take out than reds at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but the aim of the game is to take the blues out. Don't know if you noticed that yet. Well, thank you for liking that. <laughs> oh, I bet you have a great relationship. <laughs> I bet this is fun. I have the question. <laughs> £8,000, deal or no deal? Thank you, but no deal. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, um, number three, please. Hatch! <coughs> welcome. Where are you from? I'm from Bradford. Hatch, welcome. I'm so pleased you've you turned much. up. Thank you. Feel free to open the blue and then her boots come off. Okay, I hope it's a good one for you. Any blue will do. Are you ready? Oh my word! Oh. Do you wear those because you've got I'm varicose gonna... veins? I'm going to take these off, and these will be my lucky. Are they support stockings? <laughs> well, you're not going to get DVT with those, are you? Oh. Thank oh. you. That's great. I like it. I feel so much more comfortable with no Right, back to the game of opening boxes and making you a wealthy young lady. OK. Number seven, Dennis. Please. Dennis, keep oh. it going, please. £50. Pounds. Oh. Great start to the round. Best of luck to you, Emma. Yes! Yeah. Team, Linda, you keep looking at me. I knew you were... Come on, Tigger. Okay, let's... I dance with <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't for me. <laughs> ready? Yes, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like it when she lays into me. You're really enjoying the fact that she's having a go at me. It'd be nice then. Oh, it, the banker says, I tell you what, Emma, I get you. <laughs> he gets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, actually, he's feeling the bond because you wrote the Father's Day card. I did. You did, didn't I you? I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you wrote I how on the top no, of it, didn't you? And then you had I'd... to cross it out and say, sorry, I mucked it. How's. How's. How's your daddy? You wrote I how, the banker says. You didn't write how's your daddy, you wrote I how. Oh, OK. Sorry. And then you crossed it out. She's a very sweet girl, yes. Right, OK, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, he, he wouldn't want anybody to think that in describing Emma as sweet, that that was a euphemism for thick. <laughs> Thirteen and a half thousand. Oh, that's good, that is. I'm 
moment, I don't know what's going on here because normally it's me and the player against the banker, but at the moment it's you and the banker against me. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> he really likes you. I mean, you could absolutely breeze through this. I think he's just going to ladle. Don't say that. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? And go. <laughs> Thirteen and a half grand. What do you rank, Matt? It's not a bad offer for what's up there. There's the three big ones there and the fifteen. And even the five's even large, large for you, for what it is. So you've still got one, two, three, four, five, six to take out compared to the, the five there. Let's be positive. What Let's do you use? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Be positive. All right. OK. 13 and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Go, Socks, go! Good Come on, Lucky Socks, work your magic. Uh... So where are you going next? Maria? Yes! Wow. I didn't choose it, you... No, I'm only joking. If it's a blur... If it's bad, oh, I'm blaming no, you. Oh, no, no, no! I was just... Maria! Ig yeah, ignore him. Start talking to me again, yes, please. Because this is getting very serious now. I know. Because a hundred thousand pounds could be yours. You could be our third quarter millionaire. But that is going to take some courage. And at the moment, I'm not sure what sort of person you are, other than the I banker adores either. you. And there is something slightly attractive about you. that little feistiness, that little <laughs> joie de vivre. I think that could propel you to a lot of money, whether you want it or not. Fascinating game. You'd be mad not to come back. Welcome back to Emma's Game, Emma White from Ugly. She's a team leader for a company that provide care. Uh, she would very much like to win a significant sum of money to be able to take her sister Lisa, who suffers from cerebral palsy, on the holiday of a lifetime. One box to eight box. Right, number six, Hayley, please. Okay, she's be come a to blue. the conclusion that <laughs> you've got something that she wants. And she needs a blue. Thank you. Hope it's in here. Thank you. Let's hope so. Yeah! So nervous when people are talking about it. Four and four and eight box. That's got to be good. Hello. Go on then. He's been saying this quite a bit recently. <clears throat> if you want the big money, you have got to make a brave decision. And your brave decision is around £14,750. £14,750. <laughs> oh, what do I do? What do I do, Darren? Oh, He's pushing you on with that offer. I know. Um, without a doubt. It's a lot of money, for and a half grand, don't get me wrong, you know. And, mm. But, you know, if you do go on, you know, you've got to be prepared to take one of those big ones out. Yes. And if you do, then you find yourself chasing the money, don't you? Yes. 
All right. Emma, you can't take the two biggest ones out when one's in your box. We've got to be positive. We've, We've got, got to be positive. Yeah. Come on. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not that I was going to go on or anything. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you don't think you're rather giving... Oh. I think you are giving the gameplay away a bit <laughs> yeah, here. <no>. Hello. <laughs> he says he considers himself an excellent reader of people. He's got the sense that you're going to say no deal. Oh. He doesn't want you to say no deal. What does he want me to say? He wants to make it really clear to you, yeah. to Matt, yeah. that there's no way the banker is pushing you up. Why? Thank you very much. 16,000. I wish my mum was here. Now. Very, very rare, but a mistake by the player works in your favour. I mean, we had Rob's game where he asked for more money yeah. and that really upset the banker and he actually docked him back mm. by the I'll amount... i make it... another mistake. Just... <laughs> <laughs> think it will happen again? What do you think? Nine. Well, that's the holiday with Lisa. Yes. That is well and truly the holiday with Lisa, it isn't is. it? Yeah. But then I've got loads of other dreams. I'd love to have a deposit for our house as well. And Well, you're only here once. But then if I take all of the reds, then I have nothing. And £16,000. Have a think about it, Em. That's um, a very serious amount of money in everyone's lives. Maria, what would you do? Deal. I would do. It's a chance in a lifetime to get big money. It's how you feel, Emma. Do you feel you can gamble or do you want to be safe? Um. Like Christina says, it's there for the taking if you've got the uh, guts to carry on. It's gone more round in there, I think. Right, ready for the question. £16,000. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much. No deal. Come on, <laughs> this is right on the edge. Her dream, her game could literally fall apart. On the other hand, it could go the other way and you could be on your way to being a very wealthy young lady. Good luck, oh, Emma. Very, very good luck. OK, number two, Kevin. Kevin, first box, please. Very yeah! nice. You are, interesting. you are very, very interesting. And this game, I think, has just peeled back the outer cover on your character. You couldn't look at that box. Oh, I know. You're coming over, you're trying to persuade us all, blase, but actually, you realise this is a moment in time that could possibly change everything in your life. Second box. Fifteen, please. Right. It is just extraordinary how much money is sitting here and this young lady could walk away with. I don't think she even has bothered to think about it, what it could do to her life, because she probably feels it's impossible. But, Jez, we've seen it happen here. The impossible happens in the Dream Factory. Give us another blue. Good luck, Emma. Really hope it's a blue. Oh! And the big one's still up there. Come on. Come on. In terms of the big money, it's a one box gun.
Let's now work on the principle you would be so monstrously unlucky to take the quarter of a million in the final box in this round that it's not going to happen. It simply can't happen because to take the two biggest out would just be beyond comprehension. So it's going to be something lower. And as long as it's lower than the 15,000, you're still in a fascinating situation with the banker. Where are you going? Number 14, please. 14. Oh, I don't Yvonne, know. it feels as if it would be impossible for her to have such gross luck that you've got it. It could be here on the table. I'd love to see us create our third quarter millionaire right now. Yvonne, one of the low ones. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I know all the people who follow probability and all those things, you know, they'll say I'm talking absolute rubbish, but, you know, you just actually think the chances of that happening, you just sense it was an impossibility. You took the two biggest numbers in our game out of your game. Hello. Yeah, that was very tough. He says, thank you very much. You might not be happy, but he's very happy. This game is no respecter of courage. He said you were very brave to turn down £16,000. Your box is now worth £1,600. Yeah. That has to be a groan of reality. <laughs> Ready for the question. Sixteen hundred pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Believe it's there. Believe it is the box you chose. Okay. So I will go for Mini, number 17, please. Alright, Mini. Anything but. Anything but. Away you go. Focus the blue amount. Yeah. That's alright, that's alright. Ideally, ideally it was an all blue round, but that's okay. It just feels like anything but. Mm. Where are you going? 18, please. 18, Carly. I miss you, Emma. Got a one box game, anything but. Oh. Oh. That's it, game over. Thirteen or one? Thirteen. Thank you, Christina. Try and keep the 500 quid in. It remains. Could be there. Funny games at the moment. Dave went away with £400 yesterday. You could do slightly better than that. Hello. Two hundred. Question? Yeah. Two hundred pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Right, well I'm hoping we're all going to cheer. And I'm hoping that you've taken out of your game a very, very respectable sum of money. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Open one, please. Tempe, over there. Game over. I'm going to keep smiling. Keep smiling, please.
because unlike quite a few people who play the game, you've actually managed to come out with hundreds and hundreds of pounds. <laughs> Emma, it is 500 quid. <laughs> That's the money. And you know what? That game is why you come back time after time to deal or no deal. Because we never know what's going to happen with the boxes. And we also have no idea how the player is going to react in this environment. She did not think at the crucial moment. She didn't think it was a blur. 500 quid? That's all right. Feed them up. Coming next, Vernon Kay's 5 o'clock show with some hot beats from Paloma Faith.